Civil engineering company Marson is based in and around the town of Kerpen, in the far south of North Rhine-Westphalia, a federal state in western Germany. With a large fleet of lorries, construction machinery and tractors, the company's 80 employees are occupied daily on both small and large construction sites throughout the region. During a two-day visit, we shadowed the Marsen team as they carried out various tasks. Marsen already has a long history as a company. Mark Marson started out 22 years ago with a lorry and a chain dredger. Today, the fleet comprises 50 lorries, as well as a large number of construction machines. Their main focus is underground civil engineering and earth moving. Marson has had machinery deployed to this construction site near Karst in western Germany for several weeks now. It measures over 100,000 square meters. A new Holland T9560 pulling a scraper is among the machines. The two 13 cubic meter scrapers, also known as dragline excavators, can shift, transport and tip 200 cubic meters of earth per hour. The terrain has been dampened by the rain, so it's difficult to negotiate. The work is fairly demanding for the machines. The 420 horsepower scraper tractor by Bell is perfect for this job. It is the only one in Germany used in this configuration. Depending on the task at hand, this tractor is also mounted with two scrapers. The long distances on this construction site are handled by tractors with dumper trailers attached. There are a total of eight Fent tractors in the fleet for this purpose. They are loaded by one of the eight chain dredgers on this job. This 32-ton cat is one of the smallest in Marsen's fleet. Building something new often means pulling down something old. The cat diggers are also perfect for this type of demolition work, using a concrete crusher or sorting graph. Driver Michael has worked for Marson for 15 years. He masters the joystick game perfectly. The brown coal mining industry is extremely prevalent in the area around Kelpen. The Hambach open pit mine is set to expand further over the coming years. As a consequence, the old motorway 4 between Kerpen and Dura has to be relocated along with several villages. It's a huge project and Marsen is playing its part by providing diggers, semi-trailer trucks, tippers and tractors. With a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour, the tractors are in no way inferior to the trucks on country roads and are perfect for this job in terms of driving comfort and cross-country mobility. Team member Ramis used to work for an agricultural contractor and knows its tractors really well. Over the coming months, rubble and tarmac are to be transported from the vicinity of the Hambach opencast mine and subsequently sorted. Marsen's rubble recycling plant at Haus Horst is perfectly situated for this. The material is offloaded into one of the two mobile crushers and processed. This gigantic machine can handle 450 tons per hour. The unit itself weighs 60 tons and is driven by a 550 horsepower motor. After being pre-sifted, the chunks are flung against the jaw plates on the inside by a fast-turning rotor, breaking them into smaller pieces. Metal is removed by a magnetic belt. The material, known as hardcore, is later reused for street or building foundation. On the outskirts of the village of Mannheim-Neu, 
which has been completely relocated over the past few years, excavation work for the new sports facility has begun below ground. The team from Marsen helped to plan this project. Via laser and GPS satellite controls, the site is accurately prepared to within a centimetre using 21-ton bulldozers. The excavator, with an operating weight of 36 tonnes, is the most powerful machine in Marsen's fleet. Tractors are used on this construction site too. First, this spreader distributes a lime-based mortar. This makes saturated and hard-to-navigate ground more navigable for the vehicles following behind. The mixture is then incorporated and crushed by this mixer. The process is called soil stabilization. Soil replacement, which was the method used previously, is now no longer necessary. The five-ton mixer requires an enormous amount of drive force. It is also driven extremely slowly. Hard work for the Fent 936 Vario. Professional farm machinery mechanic Mark Marson regularly rides on the machines himself. We'll pay the Marson team another visit in the coming months to film another short story. New contracts at airports, motorways and quarries are already in the works. You can find lots of exciting farm machinery videos from around the world on www.farmworld.tv.